Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a magnetic stir using just a computer type fan and some magnets. Now to get started, some items that you will need. A computer fan, a hobby box, a power switch, magnets, and a magnetic stir. Also you will need a DC power supply, electrical tape, a knife, a drill, some drill bits, and wire cutters. First of all, I want to open my box and I want to make sure that my fan is going to fit in. Perfect. I'm going to turn my box around here and I'm going to line my fan up the way that I want it to be. Now as far as the screws go for mounting the fan, this fan actually came with a pack of screws. I've already pre-sized the holes for the screws, which is a 532nd drill bit. Now that I have my pilot holes already pre-marked, this one actually went all the way through, but it's okay. Now I can actually finish drilling them through. Now I just want to run my screws through these since they were just a little bit bigger than the actual hole that I drilled. That way they'll be nice and snug. And being plastic, they will actually form their own threads through. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to set my box aside, pick my fan back up, and flip it over to the side that doesn't have the crossbars which are these. I take my little round magnets and I am going to turn the poles opposite of each other. That way when I go to put the little stir bar on it will grab a hold of both ends. I'm going to set those little magnets aside. Now I'm going to open my glue up Since it's a gel, I'm going to shake it just a couple times. Now I'm going to put a couple dots on the center of the fan. Just enough for my magnets to stick to. And if you're worried about not having your poles opposite of each other, just put your little magnetic stirrer on top and you can even use that as well to hold the magnets when you go to place them on the fan. This is going to take just a little while to dry, so that's why we're doing this at this step. Now the magnets will actually stick to the fan automatically on their own because of the metal that's inside the fan. So now we're going to let it spin, make sure that it's, it's center. and we're going to set our fan aside. We'll pick back up our box again. Now we're going to drill the hole that way we can run our power supply on the inside. And again I'm just going to use the same drill bit that I used to drill the holes for the mounting screws. Now you want to be careful with plastic too, that way you don't over push the drill through, that way it cracks the plastic. I'm going to take my power supply, I'm going to run it through that hole that I just drilled. Just like that. Now 
Now I'm going to take my knife. And I'm going to split the end of the wire down through the middle. Just be careful not to cut your fingers. Now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to strip the end of the wire, the plastic off of the wire. Now I'm going to switch out my drill bits for the larger drill bit that fits the on off switch. Select where I want to drill the hole for the on off switch. Next, I'm going to connect my wires to my switch, but I'm only going to connect one side of the power supply wire to one prong of my power switch. The other side will actually go to the fan. Now we're going to bring our fan back out and our magnets are dry on here now. They're not going to come off. They've had sufficient amount of time to dry. We're going to mount the magnets facing up towards the top of the box. Now we're going to wire our fan up to the power switch. So now we're going to close the fan, or the fan box I should say. We'll take our little magnetic stir, we'll put on top where it has the magnets. And we're going to turn our fan on now. So when I hold the button down, it turns my magnetic stir on. I let go of the button, magnet turns off.